What's up, Budget Builders? My name is Trail, and we have some breaking news to share with you. This afternoon, we pick up where we left off last night. The Senate has voted to advance the bipartisan infrastructure bill and bring debate on the substitute amendment to an end. There it is, guys. The Senate finally voted on the physical infrastructure bill late last night with a passing vote of 68 to 29, which they only required 60 votes in order to move this bill forward to the next phase. So there it is, guys. They did it. And now, before we go any further, I want to give a shout out to my lovely wife, Mrs. Budget Bill. Today is our anniversary, guys, and we have been married for 30 13 years. Yes, yes, she has put up with me and my shenanigans, but we have made it thus far and looking forward to having another 13 more years as well. So happy anniversary to her today. Now, in other news, guys, the Democrats are excited about moving forward to the second infrastructure bill, the Americans Families Plan. That's worth $3.5 trillion, as this is the largest infrastructure package or even stimulus package that we have ever seen. So this thing is pretty massive. Chuck Schumer stated that this is one of the bills that is for the ages and we are going to pass this bill for the American people. So we're going to be talking about that as well today as far as what's included in the bipartisan bill as well as what's included in this $3.5 trillion massive bill as well as we have some more daily news bites to talk to you about as well. Now those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today but if this is your first time to the channel, hey welcome and glad to have you. On this channel we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I had this feeling that those dang senators would not allow this physical infrastructure bill to get in the way of them leaving for their long August recess break. And they did not surprise me. They voted late on Sunday night to finally in the debate regarding the $1 trillion bipartisan bill on physical infrastructure. At the very beginning, when the Democrats first proposed spending on infrastructure, it was around $2.6 trillion, which was immediately shut down, and the Republicans objected to that idea of that amount of spending. Then a bipartisan group of senators, 10 Republicans and 10 Democrats, stepped in and created the bipartisan bill that was nearly $1 trillion. Now, this bipartisan bill includes things like money for building and utilities, transportation and home care for our elderly, and the innovation of jobs, which within those categories are a plethora of things that have lacked the proper funding for several years. So now, with the additional funding, roads and bridges will be repaired, broadband internet to more places, money to install electric vehicle chargers, and so much more, guys. And these things and more are needed in in order to maintain the strength and the power of this country moving forward. And these things will be applied in all states. So definitely the funding is needed and passed overdue. I repeat that Democrats are ready and willing to vote on additional amendments to the bill before moving to final passage. Once again, that will require the cooperation of our Republican colleagues. I hope they will cooperate so we can move more quickly. Otherwise, will proceed by the book, finish the bill. So this is a great move forward, but we still have a long way to go. Chuck Schumer hopes to have the final passage of this legislation sometime later on today, or even on Tuesday at the latest. But Chuck Schumer is still hoping to get all 100 senators in support of this bill, because that would actually speed up the process. The Republican senators knew up front that there was no way to stop this from passing, so they ended up moving to pass the vote on it anyways. But now the prospects of getting all 100 senators in favor probably is asking for too much. After the vote, Chuck Schumer said, we will move forward to wrap this up as expeditiously as possible and then move on to the budget resolution. The two-track process is moving along. It's been a process that has been a very good process. It's taking a little bit while longer, but it's going to be well worth it. So yes, guys, senators have wasted a lot of time negotiating and debating over this bipartisan bill, but 
they was able to finally see it through. And now the next task for Chuck Schumer, as well as other Democrats, is to have the final passage of this bill and then to pass the budget resolution. This is the second part of the infrastructure bill, which is also known as the American's Families Plan. Now, this bill is what the people like you and I want. This is what we're looking for, guys. And this is because it includes things for the people like tax credits, child and family support, as well as education. And then if we break those down, we know that the Democrats want to extend the child tax credits past 2021, which is this year. They want to extend it through the year of 2025. They also want to increase the SNAP food stamp benefits. They also want to increase child care incentives as well as paid family leave and then more pay grants, free universal preschool, as well as having two years of free community college. Now, although getting this bipartisan bill finalized is imminent, this bill still faces uncertainty in the House. Democratic lawmakers have already been pressuring House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to take up this legislation immediately. But Pelosi has already said that she wants to have both the bipartisan bill and the budget resolution at the same time. Pelosi and Schumer have different tracks on how to get both of them passed to accomplish President Biden's agenda. Pelosi has stated that she will only advance the bipartisan bill if it is married to the $3.5 trillion infrastructure package, which is not ready yet. Chuck Schumer plans on setting up the massive bill after they complete the remaining works of the bipartisan bill. So the question is, how long will it take in order to get the budget resolution passed in the Senate? Because if Nancy Pelosi has her way, we could be at another stalemate in the meantime. Hopefully Schumer and other progressives can convince Pelosi to pass this bipartisan bill right now versus waiting for both bills at the same time. Now, I'm sure that we will hear more from Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer sometime today now that the bill will be ready to send to the House for a vote. But in the meantime, senators officially begin their August recess break today where they will not be in session until September the 13th. That's like five weeks of vacation time with pay. While Americans and struggling families face eviction and don't have enough food to put on their table, lawmakers consistently leave their jobs when major work is needed in this country, which causes pretty much everything to be placed on hold while we wait for them to return back to work. Now, who does that, I ask you? Who does that? Nobody else but Congress. But anyways, guys, hey, also in other news, the Delta variant continues to spread through the world, infecting almost double the amount of people in one week compared to the last year's effective rate. Over the weekend, vaccine pop-up shops appeared in Las Vegas, trying to urge and get more people to get vaccinated. And those were actually popping up in strip clubs. Can you believe getting a vaccine shot in the strip club? <laughs> That's just weird, guys. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hey, the mayor of Nevada urged Nevadians to get vaccinated and said that no one wants to have a mandatory vaccination, do you? So go ahead and get the vaccine on your own right now. But also, Governor Andrew Cuomo is still in the heat box, guys, as 11 women claim he assaulted them. One top eight official has resigned from her position on Sunday. Powerful Democrats like President Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer have all urged Cuomo to resign his position and have some respect for the office that he holds. We will probably see his resignation sometime this week. And as the Olympic Games in Tokyo wrapped up on Sunday, the United States did pretty well, guys, coming in first, followed by China and then Japan. The U.S. brought home 39 golds, 41 silvers, and 33 bronze for a total of 113 medals. The next Olympic Games will be held in Paris in 2024. And also, guys, a little bit of Bitcoin and crypto news. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum exploded over the weekend after being held down for almost two or three months, 
with the China news hanging heavy on Bitcoin as China banned all Bitcoin miners, as well as putting huge restrictions on cryptocurrencies in China as well as in the United States. But Bitcoin rallied on Sunday above $45,000 before cooling off a little bit and Ethereum rose near $3,200. Now, if we could see some consolidation over the next two or three days or so, both of these could be ready to go even higher in the coming weeks and maybe towards their all-time highs that we saw back in May of this year. But other than that, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But we should have some more news later regarding the final passage in the Senate of this bipartisan bill. This has been another fourth stimulus check update video for you today, as well as your daily news bites and your crypto news. If you enjoyed any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video.